correspondent, Ali Vitale, who's live for us in Washington. Ali, it's good to see you this Wednesday. First off, what exactly are the railway workers asking for? It feels like we've sort of been here before. Does it look like Congress can meet those demands? Well, look, Morgan, they're certainly going to try because one of the key concerns that's sticking in this legislation is how many paid sick days these workers will be allowed. In the initial legislation, as it's been negotiated, only one paid leave sick day is in there. But as they are passing this bill now, the way that they're trying to do it through the House is two-pronged because they're trying to get seven paid sick leave days put in for these railway workers. And so what we're about to see in the House in just the next few minutes is the first vote on the tentatively negotiated legislation that would allow them to avert a rail strike, and then a second separate vote on seven days of paid sick leave. That's something that many Democrats pushed for, because, Morgan, one of the big concerns here from some lawmakers that were reluctant to intervene, even though they know that this would be catastrophic if a strike were to happen, the reluctance stemmed from being pro-union. They didn't want to be seen as undercutting union workers' ability to negotiate for themselves and get the best deal that they can. Nevertheless, some people feel that, A, this is something that they cannot have happen. They cannot have this strike, and that's why they have to do what they're doing today. But also the idea that now they've been able to, if the paid leave portion of this legislation were to pass, actually get them more days than had initially been negotiated for in the first place. Speaking of which, I mean, Ali, since this bill is, as you mentioned, likely to pass the House, what are the odds looking like with the Senate at this point? And I know that Biden has sort of been warning that a rail strike would have disastrous effects just on the economy overall. So what has the president sort of done? Yeah. Uh, what role has he played in this deal? Look, the president is actually in agreement here with Republican and Democratic leadership. So it was set to be on a glide path through the House. When it gets to the Senate, it's a little bit stickier simply because this is not an issue that has clean party lines in terms of where people are falling on this. You have on the paid sick leave front people like Senator Bernie Sanders, Senator Chris Murphy, Senator Elizabeth Warren, who want to see more paid sick leave days and will put forward an amendment to do that. But then you've also got some Republican senators like Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley on the ultra-conservative side of that Republican spectrum also saying that they would back an amendment on paid sick leave. Unclear if that's going to be brought up in the Senate and if it'll have the votes. But again, that's one of the sticking points and partly why this has been such a confusing and hard-to-predict process. All right, NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ali Vitale live from D.C. Ali, thank you so much.